Welcome back friends, teacher Brittany here with the Home CEO Academy and Circle Time Club. And also my little friend, Rubber Ducky. He is super excited for his bath time today. Let's learn more. Let's head over to Lexi for our Hello Song of the Week. Take it away, Lexi. Hello. Today we are going to sing a hello song. Okay, now, if you want, you can join in. But if you don't want to, you can join in when you're ready. Today is a great day. It might be Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Friday. Wednesday is possible too. But it's going to be all to you. That was a great but short song. That was so much fun. It is time for our song of the week. And it is called, This is the Way We Wash Our Hands. And there's a couple different movements you can do. If you have little props, you can follow along or you can just use your hands. And this one goes by the tune of We, um, we Go Around the Mulberry Bush. So that's the kind of tune we're gonna sing to it. So first, Let's go ahead and start off with washing our hands. Ready? This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands so early in the morning. And now I have a washcloth. This is the way we scrub our face, scrub our face, scrub our face. This is the way we scrub our face so early in the morning. This is the way we clean our ears. Clean our ears, clean our ears. This is the way we clean our ears so early in the morning. And if you have a comb, this is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. And now we're ready for school. Good job, I hope you had fun with that one. And we're back at our theme board, all about me and how to take care of your body, which is called hygiene or self-care. And then we have our fun little song already up on the board. This is the way we wash our hands. And we had also talked about how long to wash our hands for. And we said 20 seconds or happy birthday two times. So when you're washing your hands, you can just sing happy birthday and you can sing it to yourself or whoever you would like. Let's go ahead and read our first sentence for today. Brush your teeth and wash your face. So that is something very important to do in the morning and in the evening. So by washing our face, we get rid of those germs on our face. And by brushing your teeth, you're getting rid of the germs and bacteria in your mouth. So like I said, twice a day, after bed and before bed. And this one reads, it's fun to take a bath. Do you like taking a bath? I know that my kids love bath time. And they love bath time because it's a chance for them to play in the water. So they like to bring in their toys. They have a boat and they have rubber duckies and my son has sharks. So he really likes to play with the sharks in the bathtub. Some kids can be scared of the bath or even a little scared of the shower head that is on top, but there is no reason to be scared of the water. It is a great way to get clean and you can find fun ways to enjoy it whether you get toys or we talked about bath bombs or they even have markers you can use in the tub. Either way, it's great to practice washing your body just like you wash your hands. I hope you had a great time learning how to keep yourself clean and healthy. Until next time. Now let's head over to the desk with teacher Mariah for our wake up warm ups. 
Wake up warm up. Today I have my mama duck here. And my mama duck is trying to go to a new pond. And in order to go to this new pond, she's got to bring her ducklings with her. And they all need to be in order, in line, just so she makes sure she knows that she has all of her ducklings. And guess what? She has 20 ducklings. Wow, that's a lot of ducklings. And we need to put them in order behind her. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, now six. Well, let's say they move over this way. Six. Seven, eight, nine, what comes next? Ten, that's correct, but she's got even more babies. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, but she's got even more, my goodness. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, she's got 20 little ducklings. Well, now she knows that she has them all and they can swim on to the next pond. <laughs> So you can practice ordering your little ducklings in order as well. Great job, guys. Great job with your wake up warm ups today. Are you ready for a story? Okay, well have a seat. Teacher Ashley is going to read us a story. Today's book is Time for a Bath by Phyllis Gershator, illustrated by David Walker. Rise and shine, we'll work and play all year long and every day. Oops, a mess, but that's okay. Spills and splatters, goop and grit. Fill the tub, what time is it? Time for a bath. Hop in and then rub-a-dub-dub, all clean again. Look for earthworms, track the ants, roll around in grassy pants, dig a hole, plant a pit, water and weed. What time is it? Time for a bath. Splash and squirt, rub-a-dub-dub, goodbye dirt. Hunt for crabs, run to and fro, take sand home between each toe. Share a big banana split. Drippy sweet. What time is it? Time for a bath. Quick, quick undress. Rub-a-dub-dub, no more mess. Swing and slide. Hang upside down. Chase the leaves, red, yellow, brown. Pick a puddly place to sit. Make a pie. What time is it? Time for a bath. Here we go. Rub-a-dub-dub -dub from head to toe. Paint a picture. Play with clay. Be an artist every day. Uh-oh. Got wet. A little bit. An accident. What time is it? Time for a bath. A shampoo too. With rainbow bubbles, pink, green, and blue. Splish, splash, splash. Can everybody fit? Duck, fish, whale? What time is it? The best time, bath time, time with you. All clean again, all fresh and new. Wrapped in a towel, warm and dry, ready for a story and a lullaby. And when we say, sweet dreams, sleep tight, 
we hug and cuddle and kiss good night. I hope you enjoyed Time for a Bath by Phyllis Gershator. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today, for our letter coloring pages, we are finishing the letters Y and Z. So our first one is Y is for yam. Here's a picture of a yam, an illustration to color, and the word yam to trace. Then we have Z is for zinnia. Here's a beautiful zinnia. And here's an image that you can color to look like the picture. And the word zinnia to practice tracing. Then we have two more activities to take a look at. Our first one is called Suds Before Snacks. It says, Timmy's been outside playing. Before his snack, he must wash his hands first. Draw a line through the path from the playground to the bathroom, gotta wash his hands, dry his hands, and then to the snacks. Okay, so you're going to practice tracing the path, staying inside the lines with your crayon or your marker. Then our final activity is called healthy habits. It's time to clean up. Draw a line from the picture to the step number then trace the numbers and color the pictures. The first line has been done for you. So here are the step numbers. We have step one, two, and three. And we have three things that this little boy is doing. Looks like he's pumping soap here. He's lathering it up. And what's he doing here? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's lathering his hands here and he's drying his hands in this one. So you have to decide what order will he do those steps in. Then we have flossing, brushing, and mouthwash, taking a bath, playing outside, and drying your hair, brushing your hair. Oh, I'm sorry. These aren't even part of that. <laughs> these are just extra pictures here. You can color these in however you like. So the only steps you're doing this one, this one, and this one. So that was healthy habits, oops, suds before snacks. Then we had Z is for zinnia. And finally, Y is for yam. I hope you enjoy completing these activities. It's time to get moving with this week's action cards. Can you wash your hands? Can you take a bath? Can you toss a tissue in the garbage? Can you brush your teeth? Great job. I hope you learned so much about how to keep your body clean and healthy. For now, it's time to say goodbye, but have fun with your activities and worksheets. And remember that we always love to see your work, so feel free to send it in. We will say goodbye from teacher Brittany and everyone here at the Home CEO Academy. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.